Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video you probably guessed from the title but today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing an all jeans haul but instead of just showing you the jeans and going oh I like this I don't like this. I thought I would compare them to each other to find out you know what the best fit is and how it looks etc. For somebody who is petite I really struggle with jeans. To be honest I don't even think petite comes into it. If you're tall, if you're short, if you're regular jeans is such a difficult thing to buy because of waist sizes and leg lengths etc i hope this video is going to be quite informative i hope this video is going to help you we'll make sure all the links are in the description box if you did like any of the items if you did like any of the jeans they will always be down there so just click away by the way these aren't jeans these are like cycling short jeans i love them link them down in the description box if you are interested so yeah if you are interested to find out which pair of jeans is the best well then keep on watching okay so i haven't tried any of these on prior they are all still in the packaging i got them all from asos because it was the easiest way to get these jeans from all different brands so the first brand that i got here is top shop mum jeans i think these are slim bum jeans but this is what they look like i got them in the waist 25 do you know what i haven't bought from top shop in the longest time but a waist 25 is a size 6. I love the denim. I have not worn Topshop jeans in the longest time. I remember back in the day Topshop journey jeans was the one. Those are the jeans that I've always worn. I don't think I've ever ventured into any other selection that they've had so it'd be interesting to see what this one looks like. The wash of the denim looks really nice just like the bagginess of the jean looks really nice so yeah i can't wait to see what this is like on so we've had a bit of a situation um the top shop jeans don't fit i can't get them over my waist my butt is literally spilling out of the jeans i can't get them on it's so hot in it's 25 degrees it's probably hotter in here than it is outside and i'm sweating buckets but yeah i'm really struggling <laughs> i can't get them on i don't know if it's because i'm sweaty and it's hot and i actually picked the wrong time to do these um yeah i'll try one more time for you a few moments later yeah i give up they're not going up so um i got this in the size waist 25 length 30 i am a waist 25 i've measured i always measure before i buy jeans i think you need to size up on this to be honest because it doesn't fit there's no stretch in them but yeah it doesn't fit so so you might notice a theme in this video i kind of opted to go for kind of like similar washes because obviously we are heading into the summertime which i am filming in 25 degrees so like give this video a thumbs up because i am sweating my absolute nipples off so the next pair i got is from bershka so again this is the mum jean this one i don't actually think is a slim mum jean i think this is actually just a standard mum jean they do actually look really really nice i just love like the two different like wash you know it's lighter in the middle so it's going to give a bit of like contour to the leg i can't actually wait to see what this looks like on there it doesn't seem to be a lot of stretch in the jeans just like the bershka jeans that i have had in the past so we'll see what this looks like on what i did really like is it is cuffed at the bottom as well you can obviously uncuff it it's not stitched in but yeah let's see what this looks like on right okay so here are the bershka jeans i'm not gonna lie to you they are really tight so i got them in a size six i don't know why i ordered a size six because if you're not new to my channel and you've seen some of my bershka hauls then you will know i always say size up so i got a size six because to be honest i kind of wanted to stick all of the denims with like the same size just to like prove to you like they don't all fit the same so definitely size up i do like the wash of the jeans i think they're really nice the cuff detail is actually really nice so i do rate that very nice indeed as you can see like it's just yeah things are just hanging hanging over the side it's not flattering on me so size up 100 percent. the denim is oh i've just popped a button uh, the denim isn't stretchy it is quite a stiff denim it's quite restrictive but i do think if you got your size then it would be quite stretchy because i know the button's undone but i think there will be more movability if you did obviously get the size that would fit you yeah i mean i think it kind of like flattens the bum as well so it's not not flattering i mean i don't hate them i'm not mad at them i think if i did get my size i would look really really nice on so next pair of jeans is from pullum fair so by feeling this this denim feels a lot more thinner. The other two have been a lot more of a thicker, more of a stiffer denim. This one has a bit of stretch to it. The waist does look a little bit big, I'm not gonna lie. It does actually look really, really nice though. I love the wash of it again. The mum fit looks really nice. More of a baggy mum fit jean. So we'll see what this looks like on. To be fair, 
this looks quite promising and i love the fact it is actually a bit like thinner because i just who wants to sweat who wants to sweat because honey i do not so thinner denims is the way forward especially in the warmer months so here are the pen and bear jeans i love them i didn't actually realize i got them in the petite this is actually quite weird i'm gonna like pan you down a little bit because the length of these are like crops do you know what i actually don't mind it i don't actually mind it looking a bit crops because i know some slim mum jeans or mum jeans on people that are I would say like regular height, not petite, not tall. They do tend to look more cropped on them. So I think this length would actually look quite nice with some mules, some heels. So I'm going to just stand on my bed. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but it is like there. So I'm not actually mad at these jeans. So like I said, they are a thinner denim, but I don't mind it. The wash of this is so nice. And I think it hugs me really nicely around the waist and then kind of like puffs out around my hip area. It makes me look more curvier. I mean, I'm going to edit this back and you guys are going to be looking at it like, girl, where's the curb? So these are a size eight pull and bear jeans. Their sizing is so weird. Everything runs like super small. This was actually quite a struggle to like button up, but once you get it buttoned up it fits good like it is actually quite a stretchy denim like i can squat in this i can jump up and down in this like honestly the denim is so nice so stretchy definitely a thumbs up from me definitely recommend so good i think these were only 19.99 as well so definitely affordable and yeah i'm gonna be keeping these i think these are gonna look so nice such an essential versatility dress it up dress it down chest kiss winner winner chicken dinner okay next pair of jeans is a pair of stradivarius jeans everybody and their mums know that i love stradivarius jeans like it's no surprise it's no secret these are like my most favorite jeans ever and to be honest i'm not gonna lie to you i already know how these are gonna fit because i already have like a pair similar to this so this is the stradivarius slim mum jeans this is more of a darker denim i know exactly how this is gonna fit this is in a size six i I just love Stradivarius' slim mum jeans. So I already know what they're going to look like on, but I will still show you anyway. I will always recommend their jeans. It's no secret. God, you have to give this to me. I am doing a jeans try on of 25 degrees. Just not okay. Okay, here are the Stradivarius jeans, mum jeans. I knew I was going to love them. They fit really nicely. Size six, which is a weird one because if you've watched any of my Stradivarius hauls, I always buy their denim jeans and I always say size up to a size eight. But this actually fits really nicely. This feels a lot different to a lot of their other jeans. So their slim mum jeans collection, I would always say this, is a lot more stretchier. So you could probably get your normal size. I mean, I would say they are a little bit tighter here, but I actually don't mind that on me. It is like tighter up here, but then it's tapers off at the end but i actually really enjoy it i think it is a nice look no i do actually really recommend these i think they are so nice so comfortable so flattering they are a thinner denim but they're not cheap thin if you know what i mean like they do feel really good quality length wise again they fit me really nicely i have actually just rolled them up a little bit but length wise they fit really nicely it does go down to the bottom of my ankle but yeah 100 percent. this is a massive thumbs up from me okay and next pair of jeans are from new look i've heard so many good things about new looks denim jeans i haven't bought from new look in literally the longest time the last time i owned a pair of jeans was back when skinny jeans was a thing and i was like 14 so it's been a while since i've even bought from new look i know some people love them but for me it's just not a bit of me i did see these on asos here they are these are called the tory mum jeans i actually do think these look really nice it has a nice rip in one of the legs which quite a nice rip let me just move forward because it does actually look quite nice it's like i don't know really nice and i actually like the fact it doesn't have it across because when they do and they like dig into your knee and it hurts yeah not a fan i actually like this again it looks really tapered in the waist and then it comes out so this actually does look quite nice it does look very promising actually i love the wash of the denim it's not too light wash but it's not dark as well so it's kind of like a blend this is the regular fit so i'm guessing they do this in tall and petite i'm just guessing i'm just assuming if they do i will actually link the tall and the petite one in the description box as well just because you know i'm looking forward to seeing what these look like on <laughs> here are the jeans so as you can probably tell they don't fit they don't do run the waist like <laughs> yeah 
no. I could already tell that this wasn't going to fit because I really struggled to get over my bum and over my like hips and that. I am quite curvy on the bottom half. Like I wouldn't say I'm dramatically curvy, but for somebody who is obviously five foot three and a size six, like I do have a bit more of curve to me, like on my hips and my bum. Yeah, this this didn't fit so i would say when you look jeans especially this pair maybe size up the denim does feel a lot more stiffer and it does fit me perfectly lengthwise i don't know if you're gonna be able to see but it does actually fit me really nicely lengthwise the rip is really nicely like on my knee yeah they are a nice pair of jeans but unfortunately they just don't fit so maybe size up which is a bit of a bummer because i was actually looking forward to these jeans more than any of the jeans to be honest because i haven't shopped for them in a while the length of them is really nice but this is regular fit and i'm five foot three okay so i'm done trying on all jeans i'm honestly i'm a sweating mess like i don't even know why i've chosen to do this haul in literally the hottest day of the year so far what am i i'm a mess some of you are probably wondering what my favorite pair of jeans that i've tried on and hands down 100% would be the Stradivarius ones and the Pull and Bear ones. The Pull and Bear, although like the length, I'll have to look at the image, but although the length is cropped to me, I actually think that's how it's meant to look. I did get the petite. The petite normally is for five foot three down. But I know Pull and Bear can run a bit short anyway, so I don't know. Maybe it isn't meant to be that cropped, but regardless, I actually like that look. I think it looks really nice. And also the Stradivarius ones. I mean, if you're not new to my channel, you probably know that I was going to recommend that anyway, but because Shadowverus is hands down one of my favourite pair of brands anyway to shop from. Their denim jeans are always 100%, 10 out of 10, top notch amazing quality for the price as well so you can't go wrong either way i'm gonna link all of them down in the description box so if you did want to go and get any of them yourself then what are you waiting for click down there but yeah anyway i hope you like this video because i found this quite informative like i find buying jeans literally the hardest thing to do like it doesn't matter where you shop from all sizes will be different lengths will be different just the fits will be different so i know shopping jeans is hard so i hope your girl here helped you kind of I don't know, find it. Do you know I keep looking at my nails. They're so fluorescent. This is the longest I've ever done my nails. They're just, I think they're too long. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'd never get them there. But this colour, on trend, love it. But yeah, anyways, I hope you did like this video. If you did like me, don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, smash the bell so you're notified. And I hope to stick around, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!